Stylish ways to dress a fuller upper arm or a bit of a fuller midsection. That's what we're looking at on today's Shepherd's mini body shape and style video. Hi, it's Elaine here with Shepherd's and today is episode seven in our series. You are going to meet the lovely Linda. You'll recognize Linda from our many lifestyle segments. She often models with us. Her personal style is very relaxed. She loves jeans, she loves t-shirts, boho looks, and she's here to tell you about her shape, her height, and her struggles in dressing her silhouette. Stay tuned till the end of the video. We'll have a little chat on something that can up your style game instantly. Hi, I'm Linda. I'm five foot five. I'm an inverted triangle. And I'm usually a size 12, 14 at the top, and sometimes 12, 10 on the bottom. So my challenge when I'm out shopping is that I have pretty broad shoulders. I have a wide rib cage. I'm not very fully busted like some women are, but uh, my rib cage is quite wide. So I often have a problem there. So post menopause, I found my challenge is that my arms have gotten a little wider, a little bigger. And of course, I've got the pot going on with the love handles. So it's changing a little bit as I've gotten older, so I've adapted. And, and as a typical inverted triangle, I have the indentation here that goes on, as you can see. The bottoms that are, that are fitted with a hip, I have to have altered because it's bowing out too much. Let's start styling Linda with a difficult piece to master the tailored shirt. If it fits on the shoulder, often it doesn't fit on the bust. There's so many fit points to take into consideration. So here's one solution. If you, if it fits on the shoulder, you can open it up and wear a tight tank underneath, and then just work with the sleeve to make it yours. Pop off the collar. We've selected a shirt from Foxcroft here with a soft A-line uh, design to it. So you notice now the difference in the sleeve, at the bust line, at the shoulder, it all works. It's a good shirt tail. All right, second look. Now, we are using a good pant. This is from Simply, it's called the Lantern Pant and it has width on the bottom. So now, with the addition of this tunic that just kind of flows over the midsection, this is a recurring theme in each one of our videos and it works for every body shape. If you feel the top has too much cleavage, you could do something like a really good balanced look here. So start with, this is from Simply, it's the go-to tank along with the lantern. So now you've got a streamlined look from top to bottom, head to toe. Now re-add the tunic and underneath with the black top and bottom, you've got the illusion of a jumpsuit. Look at the drape on this tunic. This is what we call the miracle top from Joseph Ripkoff. What is wrong with this picture? A kimono is a no-no quite often for an inverted triangle. In fact, for many body shapes, it is not easy to pull off but it has lots of style. So how can we make this work better? Well, we're going to go for accessories that uh, really give the kimono its, a run for its money in the sense that they're strong, they're bold, and that's what you need to balance out, create new focal points for this look. Now this jacket is softly structured to work perfectly for Linda. Okay, as you see, it's fitted on the shoulder, it's slender on the arm, so it takes care of all of the parts that we find challenging, and then it's a fit and flare, so it actually creates a waist, balances out the shoulder line. That same tank and pant is used to create a magical base Linda mentioned that she feels she has a stronger arm. She does, however, go sleeveless, and we invite you all to go sleeveless whenever you wish. This kind of longer tunic streamlines the midsection, works perfectly with the straight leg pant in white. Now we've added a poncho, equally strong in its solid color tones, and the length here really works for Linda. It echoes the longer tunic um, on the bottom. You can sweep over one side of the poncho and it just creates a great angled line. Another look on the same pant. So this vertical seaming on the knit, the angled lines all work. 
The slim leg pant here is what really, really makes it because it doesn't take away from the length or the shaping of the tunic. It just, it plays a supporting role. How to make a wide leg pant work? Well, you'll probably want to go a little shorter in the tunic. This one is good. We're keeping the neckline bare on this one from simply balancing out the shoulder line with a bit of a, an A-line hem. We're topping it off with extra brightness, stripe on stripe, twice the impact. Now, this is a look that you may like or not, but it is elegant and proportioned with, and then the jersey fabric here really works and moves so beautifully the I can't wear a dress dress. Just that simple dress, Linda, an inverted triangle can wear this. It just kind of echoes her shape, but the softness at the bottom is what makes it work. The uh, jersey dress just skims over the midsection ever so beautifully. You're going to create impact with accessories without crowding the bust line. So you want a necklace that goes over the bust, bust. This one is perfect. It's from Neck Knots. It's actually fabric. Linda's going to show you how to do it. So you're going to take it and you're going to twist it three times like this and then just pull it over and you've created a sophisticated neck knot again that does not crowd the bust line which is so important here dress option number two i don't know if i can wear a dress well this one is so easy it creates a dress for you with its empire waistline and then you just ruche it to suit your shape and your proportions and then you let the long drape that maxi drape do all of the work for you if you have hips this camouflages it or it gives the illusion of an hourglass why does this tailored jacket work okay it's angled and it also is shaped with a waist and so again it doubles up on creating the waist okay can i wear this top sometimes there's a top that you really love but it's not really made for your shape so we've changed the pant we've gone to that wider leg pant right away you can see the difference we're working with balance here with a top that may not be ideal but again it's how to make a look work for you by switching up a little something about it. Thank you so much, Linda, for modeling with us today. It was really a hoot. Okay, so can we talk about brightness? Adding brightness to your look, particularly closer to the face, is usually a really good thing. So there's instant ways to do it that really work. Something like a white t-shirt. Now it can be a t-shirt, can be a turtleneck, can be a tank top with a neckline and a style that works for your silhouette, okay? If white is just too bright, doesn't work with your complexion, then you can do something like an eggshell, winter white, whatever works for you. Accessories also pick up the light, any kind of metallics, whether gold, silver, bronze, rose gold. So work with those as well. And then the third piece is also very important to continue that bright story. So something like a soft pastel that coordinates with this jean. If you wanted to do something really dark on the bottom, like a basic black pant that really flatters your silhouette, just bring that a little bit of that black somewhere here, maybe something with a black element on the necklace or on the earring. And then all of a sudden the eye, of course, is going to flow up and down the silhouette, which is what we always want. Hope that you enjoyed this week's mini video. As always, we look forward to your comments and we'll see you soon for another mini shape and style video from Shepherds.